And our fourth main topic today gets submitted to us by Mitchell A. And Mitchell A. writes, Hey, John, for a while now, you've been saying that you'll only actually believe that Indy 5 is going to happen when you see Ford on set with his hat and his jacket. Well, we now have a ton of pictures showing just that. What are your thoughts now that it is in the realm of tangibility? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, I have been saying for a very, very long time, Rob, Amidst all the delays and all the director change, uh, well, the one big director change, obviously, when Steven Spielberg is the one stepping away, it's a big deal. With the director change and all that kind of stuff, I've said, listen, I know they keep saying they're going to do Indiana Jones 5, and I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, Rob, it appears that seeing is believing. This comes to us from Screen Rant, who writes, James Mangold rounded out the film supporting cast, uh, recruiting big names like Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Mads Mikkelsen, and Boyd Hallbrook to the ensemble. Of course, Ford is back to portray Indiana Jones for presumably the final time. Considering all of the issues Indiana Jones went through on its way to production, it's been exciting to see the film make progress and start principal photography. The first wave of Indiana Jones 5 set photos gave viewers a look at the new locations that will be seen in the movie. Uh, those weren't the most revealing images, but now that there's a new look of Ford back in action. And yep, we've got it, Rob. We've got our picture now of Harrison Ford on set. And I said, I need to see Ford on set in the hat and in the jacket. Well, it's almost like Lucasfilm said, challenge accepted. And they went ahead and they now put out, and we see now they're on location of Indiana Jones 5. We got Harrison Ford there donning the very familiar fedora, the, the jacket, the shirt. I mean, everything. I mean, the boots, the pants, the shirt, everything. It's all lining up to everything that the show was, that uh, the thing was before. And Rob, I'm going to tell you right now, I still don't 100% believe that this movie's coming out. <laughs> this is all an illusion. It's all an illusion, a, a, an elaborate prank being pulled to manipulate stock prices and whatever. <laughs> Look, they're shooting the movie. It's now happening. It's on It's on the way. I still won't be surprised at all if it doesn't happen. But anyway, Rob, the bottom line is, for the first time in a long time, we've got pictures of Harrison Ford as Indy again. Now, look, you know I haven't been tremendously excited about this because it feels like this is too late. There have been way too many delays. Uh, Harrison Ford will be 80 when this movie opens in theaters. He'll be 80. Um, and I'm all for older action stars. 80 is, is getting there though, about being a believable action star, but uh, who knows? We'll see. Getting there. Come on <laughs> okay. Now. Okay. He, he's there. He's arrived. So, and, but, and, and listen, let's not take anything away from him. Harrison Ford keeps himself in fantastic shape. Yeah. You know, you know, the weights, the walking and crashing airplanes. It seems to be his favorite hobby, but he keeps himself in great shape. He looks good. Um, I don't know. That's look, I'll, okay, I'll admit it. Seeing him again in the hat and in the jacket, I would be less than completely honest. If I didn't tell you at least got me a little bit excited. I didn't think it would. I didn't think, you know, I, I think somebody even once asked me, well, John, how do you think you're going to feel when you finally see a picture of him in the fedora? I'm saying it's not going to make any difference. But now I actually am looking at him as in a picture in the hat and the jacket. And, and I won't lie. It, it, it gets me a little bit excited. It gets me a little bit. I still have my doubts about the film overall, but they've got a tremendous director in James Mangold on board. They've got an incredible supporting cast. So, I mean, maybe there's hope there. Anyway, Rob, the images come out. Number one, what do you think of the images? Number two, do the images do anything for you as far as your excitement or anticipation for an Indiana Jones 5? Well, look, <laughs> I think we all want this movie to be good. But obviously the big, the big thing that is first out of everyone's mind or, or out of their mouths is the guy's going to be 80. You know, and, and Indiana Jones is a swashbuckling, hard-fighting, hard-living, traveling-the-world character, getting into places where most mortal men fear to tread. And when you think of our character at, if they're going to play it in real time, it have him be in the mid-70s, and he's going to be 78 years old, which I think they kind of have to do, um, 
I have less enthusiasm for it. In a way, it it's kind of like, you know, Bella Lugosi was in in Ed Wood, where it's you see this sad old man who is a shadow of his former self when he played Dracula, still trying to hold on to those that role. And and seeing him, I gotta say, seeing him in the the fedora and the same clothes that he wore as a thirty five year old or thirty year old adventurer in Raiders doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I know that's sort of his uniform and when he goes off on a med- uh, some kind of a, a job, but you'd think that, okay, maybe change it up a little bit. Like maybe, uh, but again, I'll, I, I'm fascinated. The thing that gets me excited is James Mangold because I've really liked overall his output over the last two decades. Uh, he's always been making... I think he's, if Spielberg wasn't directing, he's probably the perfect director. I mean, Ford v. Ferrari, Logan. I mean, he's, he's, there's nobody that's going to treat this material, I think, better than him as far as major Hollywood directors go. And obviously he's scripted as well. So I would imagine that we're going to get the best version of Indiana Jones 5 that we got. Now, I know it's probably sacrilege to say, probably better than a Spielberg directed, but there's a lot of apologies I need for kingdom of the crystal skull. And so (laughs) this, this, um, this, this gives me hope. So ultimately, John, I'm excited about the movie. I wonder though, I think they're going to be really fighting Harrison Ford's age and they have to make sure that the action scenes, they're not the same kind of action scenes that we saw in, in Raiders temple of doom and last crusade. Well, you know, I'll, I'll say this for, I'll say, you don't often hear this phrase. I'll say this for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, they, I felt one of the good things, one of the, the uh, wins, I'll say, for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was I never felt like they made Harrison Ford do anything that I just would have straight out thought unbelievable that a man that age could do what he was doing. Right. And I think they managed because I never felt like in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull that they tried to get him to do the things that he was doing in the first Raiders or, you know, uh, uh, Temple of Doom or anything like that. I felt like they did write it to reflect the age he was at. If they can do that again, they might be on good ground. And as far as changing up his look. okay, number one, they made sure they made it clear in Last Crusade about why the hat was so important to him. Right. So you can't change the hat. The hat is vital to who he is. And we, we know that's probably something he would wear his whole life. I agree with you that the rest of the outfit, you would think, really? For 40 years, he's worn the same shirt and the same jacket and the same shoe. I, I totally get where you're coming from on that. But let's be honest, Rob. There ain't no audience anywhere that was going to have it if Indiana Jones wasn't dressed like Indiana Jones. Right, uh, you know, you're right. I mean, maybe we we have seen Indiana Jones when he's a professor. He does dress the yes, part of a yes. professor. He looks nice, and we've seen him in other clothes, like in Temple of Doom when he goes to dinner. You know, he does clean up. So maybe we'll see that. And I guess that's why they wanted those paparazzi pictures released. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see. Question is for you guys. It's tangible now. Well, they're on set. They're actually shooting this damn movie, and we got pictures of Harrison Ford in the Indiana Jones costume again. Question is for you guys. How do you feel about this? Have you been excited for this movie? Have you not? Has seeing these pictures done anything to affect that? Whatever you guys are thinking about it, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.